Hello, this is Mr. Knowles, and this video focuses on comparing fractions with unlike denominators. There's a worksheet that goes with this, but you don't necessarily need one. But if you have it, definitely have it out. Or you could simply copy the problems and get some graph paper. That will work, too. In class, I've taught my students how to draw sketches to represent fractions. For example, the fraction 1 fourth right here. What that means is that you have a rectangle that's made of four pieces. The denominator tells you how many pieces make up the whole thing. And then the top number, the numerator, tells you how many you're interested or how many you shade in. So let me just shade that in real quick. So one of the four shaded in. And I'm going to label it one-fourth. The fraction on the right, I have a thing, I usually say a rectangle, because I'm using graph paper, it's easy to do. It's made of two parts, and one of the two parts is shaded in. So that would represent half, that'd be a sketch of a half. Uh, the problem here, comparing them, is that they're not the same size yet. The two rectangles are different sizes, so we cannot compare these fractions yet. So we have to create a new sketch for these fractions where their rectangles are exactly the same size. Then we can compare them. So I'm going to look at one-fourth, and I already have an idea what I want to do, and maybe you do at home. So I'm going to draw the same thing again. It's got four pieces and one of the four shaded in, label it one-fourth. And looking at that rectangle or square that I drew, I can see right now I could draw the same rectangle, same size, and cut it into two equal parts and shade in half of it or one of the two parts, which I can do. Now I can compare these two fractions because my two sketches are exactly the same size. The only difference is how many pieces that they're cut up into. Uh, the left is in fourths, and the one on the right is in half, or in halves, I should say. And the one on the right has more shaded in, so that fraction is greater. So one-fourth up above is less than half. Let's do another one. I have five-twelfths and two-thirds. Okay, twelfths is going to be big. So let me think about the thirds for a minute. I'm looking at the thirds over here, the two-thirds. And I'm going to think about my threes I have or my multiples of threes I have uh, three times one is three three times two is six three times three is nine and what I'm doing is I'm trying to see if three will work with the number 12 three times four is 12 well that will work pretty well since 3 times 4 is 12, I can make a rectangle that represents 2 thirds using 12, 12 squares in my, inside my uh, rectangle. So if I build a 3 by 4 rectangle, And then I have to cut it up into thirds. Remember, it's in. we have to make it in thirds because the bottom number tells you how many pieces make up the whole thing. So if I were to do it this way, cut it this way, I have three equal pieces. They're in thirds. And now I just have to shade in two of the three. There's one third. There's two thirds. This is two-thirds. 
what's nice on the other side, I have five twelfths. I don't have to do much thinking for this one. I just build the same rectangle. It's already in 12 equal pieces. So I just cut it up into 12 equal pieces. And then I just shade in five of the 12. Five twelfths there. Label it. That's five twelfths. And then look at each one. Which one's shaded in more? Well, the two thirds has um, eight squares shaded in, so it's larger. So up above, five twelfths is less than two thirds. All right, here's a third problem for us. Three-fourths and two-thirds. We just worked with two-thirds, but now we're working with three-fourths and two-thirds. This one's a little trickier because you're working with some interesting denominators where uh, you might have to build something greater than either one. The first two problems we could use, if I go back, we use 12 inside our rectangle. And then the first problem we used, a uh, rectangle with four pieces in it. This one's a little trickier, but I can show you something. Uh, so if I were to just think about these, if I take my four and I start thinking about, okay, what's four times one? That's four. Four times two is eight. 4 times 3 is 12. Now, if I stop there for a minute, if I do 4 times 3, I'm going to get a number that 3 and 4 both work with because I'm doing 4 times 3. Okay, so I'm going to just build a rectangle that's 4 by 3 for each of these problems, or each of these fractions, I should say. And this is three-fourths. So I have to cut it up into four equal pieces because we're looking at the, the bottom number the denominator tells you how many pieces you're working with. And then the top number, the numerator, tells you how much to shade in. So I'm going to shade in three of the four. All right. I'm going to draw another one. This one, though, is in three equal pieces because we're working in thirds. It's two thirds. The bottom number the denominator tells you how many pieces. The top number tells you how many you're interested in or how much you shade in. So two of three, two thirds. And now you just look at the two rectangles and which one has been shaded in more. And it looks like the one on the left because it's nine squares. If you're not certain, you could count them if you need to. That is shaded in. Nine squares are shaded in. I think this one's only eight. Let's double check that. Yes, the one on the left is greater than the one on the right. So up above, three-fourths is greater than two-thirds. Let's do one more. Four-fifths and half. Okay, five and two. I'm looking at the five, and I'm looking at the two. I'm looking at these two numbers to think of a rectangle that I could make that they both would work really well together. And in my mind, I'm thinking of the number 10 because I know 5 times 2 is 10. So I'm going to build a 5 by 2 rectangle. And I think that's right. This is going to be my 4 fifths. I'm going to make it into fifths. 
I'm going to shade in so much of it, four or five. Okay, I'm going to do another one, exactly the same size. And I'm going to cut that in half, which I can do this way. Label it half, shade in half of it, do a different color here. <laughs> which one's shaded in more? Uh, the one on the left, four fifths, looks like it's shaded in more. So that one's greater. So up above, four fifths is greater than half. There's more problems on the worksheet, but if you don't have the worksheet, I hope this has been helpful to you. And if you still have some uh, confusion or you're still challenged, feel free to contact me. I hope this has been helpful to you.